Yeah, Trisha, it is absolutely devastating. We'll give you a look at what's behind me here. Uh, this is what's left behind of an entire neighborhood just leveled. I mean, these homes are just simply unrecognizable. And this is what it looks like across much of more Oklahoma. Um, you can drive for blocks and blocks and not see a single wall standing. It's, it's absolutely impossible for us um, to fathom, uh, Marcy. You said this goes on for block after block, uh, mile after mile. As, as you see the residents walking around, um, what's it like talking with them? It's emotional. Um, many of them are just still stunned. Uh, you know, they saw many of them the destruction last night after the tornado, but now that they've had a chance to sleep and then come back and see it in the daylight, uh, it, it's a difficult reality to come to grips with that uh, their homes, we spoke with a woman who lives in a home right over here, she said she's lived there for 31 years, that's the home where she raised her daughter, where all of her memories are, and there's absolutely nothing left. They went through today uh, trying to see what they could salvage, and the only thing that she was able to walk away with uh, was some clothing that she left in the dryer, and the clothing was still in there and dry, but that's the only thing that she could take away from her home. So uh, it's a very overwhelming feeling for the residents here. I'm sure it most definitely is. We know that uh, FEMA, of course, will step in here. What is the latest on that, Marcy? You know, I don't have the latest information from FEMA. We do know that the FEMA director is here on the ground. Um, and some members of FEMA have been going around and looking at the damage, but I, that's really all the information I have as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. and, and the expectation then is that, that a lot of these people who have, have seen their homes devastated and may have lost their loved ones um, will be able to, to theoretically rebuild at, at some point there thanks to some FEMA funds? Uh, that's the hope, absolutely, with insurance and with FEMA aid. Um, this community plans to rebuild. They plan to get through this. Um, some of these communities got through uh, the tornado that tore through here in 1999, and they say they plan uh, to do the same after this storm. And, and by the way, before we, uh, we say uh, thank you and goodbye for your uh, reporting, Marcy, uh, any updates on uh, the search for survivors? Well, search and rescue teams were just here. I don't know if any of them are still here, but they were uh, going through the rubble here, seeing if there was anyone still trapped underneath. They were going around uh, with the help of dogs. Uh, I don't know that they made any discoveries here, but they're going um, neighborhood to neighborhood, house to house, uh, just making sure that the area is clear. So they're not giving up hope yet that there could possibly be survivors, although at one of those elementary schools where several children were killed, um, they have now declared that that is a recovery effort. They don't expect to find any survivors there.